Hello. So we are back Wednesday, yeah? And we have a job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, one second. And now. I did a mistake. So uh, I made two with this laptop was first part which I deleted. This is the second part when actually part arrived. So I'll take apologize, but we can uh, we can try one more time to check the board because I haven't replaced anything. So what do we have here? We have a HP 360 HP Pavilion X360, I think is the name, yeah? And this one, I will plug the screen connector, the power button, and that's all, yeah? I think that should be enough. Let's check. This is that kind of job uh, coming on, uh, no picture. Yeah? So that's the job. Plug the charger. Yeah, we don't have the charging light because it's not the battery is not plugged in. Pressing the power button. And it's not coming on. Okay. Because the charger is not plugged. Now it's plugged. Pressing the power button. We have the light on the power button. The fan is spinning. But it's, it's nothing on screen. But that's the issue with this laptop. And what we did, we checked the voltage. And most of the voltage there are fine. Except one. And the one which is not right. Is... Let me turn the board. The run voltage. So actually it is voltage there. We have the multimeter on screen. Yeah, the multimeter that it is on screen. So on the RAM we have... That's all what we have, you can see there. One more time. 0.7 you can see on the multimeter or this is not normal the power supply of the RAM is this one you can see 0.7 yeah 0.7 it's a little bit too low for the RAM and uh, DDR4 should be between 1.2 and 1.4 volts And the problem with this kind, you know, when I have, a, I just, you have a chip on the, you have a chip there and you go online and you check uh, for the chip data sheet and you check to see exactly what the chip is doing and what you can check. But not on this one. I go online and I couldn't find anything. So about this chip, let me show you. I can't find anything. Many of you think, oh, sorry, it's fixing without schematics. Well, actually, I ch I'm checking online uh, the chip and you find exactly what voltage you should have there, what the chip is doing. But not on this case. So what chip, but you know what's funny? The funny part is, is uh, I found to buy the chip from eBay. So we bought the chip from eBay. But you can't find anything online about this chip. Which is strange. Yeah, so that's our chip. Hopefully you can see. 5388. If you check online, you, you can't find... You'll find nothing. Yeah. 
So this chip is kind of uh, everything inside, like the driver and the MOSFETs and from the output of this chip It's not hard to see exactly what the chip is doing So what do we have? We have this big cap, so probably this is plus You can see here this is the output Yeah, on the coil and This big, big uh, uh, pad we see with many pin solder here. This probably is ground, but we don't know nothing about the rest of the pins. Here we have some caps, so probably here it's a different, uh, different power rail. So that's the story with this one. That's the story with this one. So we have 0 0.7 on the on the RAM side, and we got the chip. The chip is here. Yeah, that's the chip. So we have the chip, yeah. All what we have is to replace the chip. I did found info about this. I asked on Discord. Remember, I told you go on Discord if you need help and ask. And I did ask. I did ask for help. Yeah. What do you think? So I did ask for the schematics and. Uh, and the people was nice and sent me actually uh, a schematic for this uh, for this chip. Uh, but the schematic is not really too much. What? Uh, let me find the schematic. And I'll show you. Found it. You can't really get too much help from the schematic. It's, Let me see, let me see, let me find the chip. Oh yeah, I found it, yeah? So that's the one. That's the chip. On this, uh, what I did, what I did. On this one, the chip is called G5388K11U. But even if you search for this chip, you'll find nothing on Google. So that's the problem. This is our power supply. We can see here the output. We can see here the peak of the pin. It has few inputs uh, pins for the state, S3, S5. It's, it's, it's to check what? Everything is fine there. I check the input. On this one, the voltage is very low, so the voltage is getting uh, is getting loose here on the resistor. So I suppose this chip is gone. So what we will do? We'll replace the chip. Yeah. This is the long uh, story short, because I lose first part when actually I was more patient. I explain more and we check. I checked more things on the board. Oh yeah. And by mistake, I clean uh, my computer and I delete all the videos from there. Because you know, usually I don't. I done the video. Or I go home. I upload the video. But um, this video was not meant to be there till the part arrive, and I will do the second part. And after that, I will edit them, I will stick them together, and upload them. I need my other nozzle, which is somewhere. But who knows? Okay, let's use this one. It was just an example, like the things is not necessary to be completely faulty dead, like this power supply, but having not having the right voltage.
not having the right volt 0 0.7 is is not good that's too low for the ram memory in order to earth Okay, let's replace the chip quickly and see if it's working. Maybe, who knows? Maybe we'll find a different fault. Let's remove that one. Four hundred degrees will be fine. Okay, let's remove the chip and solder the new one and see if it's working. More air. Okay, so the chip is out. The chip position, yeah, it's like that. Interesting design on the back. Let's solder the new one. That's the new one. We have solder on pads. What I will do I just need a bit of flux, a little bit of flux. It's fine. So I think she'll be fine, yeah? Yeah, she'll be fine. Let's cool down the, the chip. It's not much what you can do on a fall like this. It, obviously, you know, a semiconductor is most uh, more likely to die instead of I don't know a random resistor or a capacitors. Capacitor can go short on the only on the power rail, but this one, this one was coming on. Let's test and see. It's working or not. Power, it's on. And it's not working. Okay, let's check the voltage on the RAM. Yeah, 
1.2 so now we have the right vo and we have picture and we have picture yeah you can see picture on the screen <clears throat> so that was the issue the chip itself yeah and we have 1.2 on the ram uh, on the ram memory i really apologize for the <clears throat> for these things because i lose the first part it's starting up yeah as a solid state uh, m2 solid state uh, drive but it's working fine so that was the issue like it's just an example because many ask on the comments you know i have coming on and i have no picture it's not necessary to be a graphic issue it can be something like that and to understand how this works you power up the laptop yeah the super io is bringing bringing up all the power supplies after all the power supplies are on he will run the program you know the bios program to check the board to see if it's working but obviously if you have any power supply which is dodgy and it's not coming on he will not run the the diagnostic program so you'll have a black screen <clears throat> okay so i'll stop this video because it's kind of pointless as i lose the the first part but anyway check the voltage if you have a problem like that like the here a RAM memory issue check the voltage it should be the right voltage if you don't know what what is the right voltage you go check on the RAM what is saying on the RAM you check on Google and see what the, the what is the right voltage okay I know I know, I know, I know, I know, it's boring. It was boring for me. I don't even see the point of this video if I lose the, the I lost the first part. But anyway, you know, maybe you have same issue, same problem. I'll put the the model number on the description. If you have same problem, check the round voltage. Thank you, bye.